Hey, what is up guys? Danny here, and today I'm finally doing a review of the Parliament Wallets by Exter. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So it's been a week since I switched from my old wallet to this Parliament Wallet, and I have to say, I'm actually pretty satisfied with it. Um, except for a couple of issues that I've experienced, but I will get to that in a bit. But first of all, for the people who don't know what this wallet is, this is the Exter Wallet, Parliament Exter Wallet to be exact, and it has a number of features. First of all, there is a rubber band right here where you can store uh, additional business cards or bills that you want to carry. You can also store that here in this left pocket as well as the top part, just like a normal wallet. It also has two additional uh, card slots and the main component of this wallet is right here. Whenever you press the saw Whenever you push the throttle right here, it's going to release the cards and you can do this all day. This is actually pretty addicting and I'm getting used to it. One more time, like so. The last feature I want to show you is the tracker device. Uh, this thing has a tracker, checking uh, Bluetooth device in it, so whenever you press firmly on the logo right here, your phone is going to ring. And also, if you have the tracker app, if you want to, uh, if let's say you have the phone, but you don't know where your wallet is, if you press the button right here, it's gonna ring the alarm, which is very convenient because a lot of times people uh, don't know where their wallet is or their phone, so where the phone is. So let's say I don't know where my phone is, I'm just gonna press it down, and there it is. When we release it, it's just gonna stop. So once you get used to using this wallet, it's actually really convenient. Whenever you want to make a payment, just press the button like so, give them the card, make the transaction, put the card back in, close it down, and voila, you're good to go. But on with the issues I have with this wallet. First of all, it scratches very easily. I mean, if you look at the wallet itself, there's marks right here, 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 and so on. It scratches very easily and I expected more from this material because it's, um, to be honest, it's not that, it's not that cheap. Uh, but on with the other issues I have, let's say I have a $5 bill, a folded $5 bill. If you want to store it here, that's fine. Very convenient. You can also store it here. That's really, that's, there's, there's no problem with that. But my problem with is with this part. Um, you think you can you think that you can store uh, just like a normal wallet but you can't it's too small especially with uh, these bills you can't just I mean I can try but like this is not gonna fit in like you can't see look at that like you're gonna have to fold it either way so that's very inconvenient and another problem I have with this wallet is the card slot itself there's, so there's two types of cards. There's the embossed ones, and then there's the unembossed ones. Embossed ones means uh, that there are numbers right here that are raised. So as you can see, these are raised. So whatever you put inside this card slot, it's gonna first of all, it's gonna slow it down, and you can't store more than four in it. I thought that I could store more than four in it, and then I forcefully shoved more than four in here, and then I broke my uh, secondary extra wallet, which I'm pretty sad about. But other than that, it also has this problem where if you just shake it around a bit, it's just gonna fall off. Um, this is a major design flaw, which I didn't really expect because. Um, when I was outside, I took it out of my pocket and it was upside down and I saw that my cards were actually like halfway released and I was like, mm, this is not the feature I've been looking forward to, but those are the problems that I had. Um, other than that, you can actually use unembossed cards, um, which I will be showing to you guys right now. So here I have five additional cards. They're unembossed, which means they have no raised letters or numbers. I'm gonna put the cards in the card slot and release the throttle, like so. One more time. Last. It works perfectly fine, and you can also add an additional card 
unembossed card and you can fit six of them in here but the problem with this is watch this it's extremely slow and clunky uh, it's even hard to put it back in that's what she said anyways I wouldn't recommend this because in the long term it might screw up the inside part of the card slot so I would probably just stick to five or four maybe but um, another problem I have with this is that you can't close the card slot uh, if it has less than five so I took one out it's gonna be a problem because it won't actually release the cards so five works perfectly fine if I take one out I can't press it otherwise it feels like I'm gonna break something inside so I can oh, there there is a mandatory num card number so five is the required number of cards and also for the unembossed cards if I just shake them out it's just gonna fall out this is a really bad feature it's not even a feature like this is a major flaw in the design I don't know what happened but um, if you shake it out it's just gonna fall out this is a really bad way of releasing the cards because I don't want to lose any of my cards but um, for now I just stick to the embossed ones because they create more friction so in one si on one side it's actually uh, slowing down the card releasing speed but on the other hand it has an additional friction uh, which uh, actually keeps the cards inside the, the card slot so that is a plus for me now I know what you're thinking after looking at the flaws you're probably thinking to yourself is this wallet even worth it? is it worth your buck? now before you go on I just want you to understand that this is the first generation wallet which means that it's gonna have flaws and later on in the near future XR might release a better version of it for let's say like Parliament 2.0 where it offers better design and minor uh, tweaks to the flaws that I just showed you guys but other than that in my honest opinion I would give this a thumbs up and rate it 8 out of 5 out of 10 because first of all it has tech within the wallet itself I mean like what other wallet in the market right now offers this function this functionality where you can track your phone or your wallet back to back with the tracker app. I honestly admire companies trying to be innovative and combine fashion and tech together, bring you a very solid product that uh, people might enjoy. On that note, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys for watching this uh, a thorough review of the Extra Parliament wallet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. But other than that, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.